We're learning more about the three San Marcos police officers who were ambushed over the weekend from those who worked with them. Officer Justin Putnam was killed. Two others are still hospitalized with serious injuries. KXAN Sahara Rahman spoke with San Marcos's former police chief. When you get to be a chief of police, you're, you're kind of the father of the family and these brave men and women are in your charge. Howard Williams filled that role for the San Marcos Police Department for more than a decade before he left the force. Williams had hired Officer Justin Putnam. We were impressed by the fact that he did seem to be a man of integrity and, and dedication who understood the principle of sacrificing for the community good. Williams also helped hire Justin Mueller as a dispatcher. He's kind of a card. He's got kind of a bit of a weird sense of humor about him, which I kind of like, frankly, because I have a weird sense of humor also. McAllen Police Chief Victor Rodriguez spent three years with Officer Franco Stewart and wasn't surprised when another department scooped him up. She was a smart, sharp, young person. Rodriguez says news of this weekend's ambush shook his team to their core, and even more so once they found out one of their own was critically wounded. We were hurt in many ways. We were hurt the fact that he lost a partner and that we lost a police officer. We were hurt in the manner that Franco Stewart, one of us, came very close to death as well. William says as San Marcos police mourn, they still have a job to do. When you lose three officers out of a group of 50, that's a pretty good hole that you've got to fill all at one time. That's the major loss. To protect and serve comes at a cost, and sometimes that cost is very dear. Tahira Rahman, KXAN News. Many flags in San Marcos are flying at half staff today to honor fallen officer Justin Putnam. Governor Greg Abbott issued a letter Monday giving that permission to other cities and counties as well.